It's a beautiful morning. Well, yeah, it is really. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, I had enough interest in the blackberry propagation and some a lot of questions. And uh, since I don't like to type, maybe we'll uh, I'll do another little follow-up video and hopefully answer some questions and uh, show you exactly from start to finish uh, what I'm doing here. So let's go to the field. Bye. Okay, I had a few people asked, uh, asking some questions about uh, pruning the blackberries and so This one is about, about four feet tall and I'm going to prune it at about three feet tall. Maybe you can see right there and right there it's beginning to grow just a little bit of a growth that will be where uh, one of the laterals I believe they're called side branches laterals will uh, will start growing now if I prune right above that it's going to encourage that so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to try and I don't want to disturb I don't want to hurt the little lateral so prune right there above it. Now that gives me about a 12 inch piece and I'll get two cuttings out of that. Now on this end it's obvious which one is top. Okay, That's your top growth. That's your tip. But when you cut it in half it's not obvious. Make sure you plant the bottom in the ground. You want to know which way is up, I think I told one person. Now, what one guy does is on the bottom, he makes sure he does a, a 45, 45 degree cut. So you got that angle right there. And then he will cut, or I, what I'll do, is cut above uh, above that little node right there just basically cutting this one in half about six inch pieces and um, and I'll do a straight cut that way I know which way is up I know which way is up okay so I got two pieces one has got the tip on it I know that's up the other one I've got a 45 down at the bottom I got a straight cut on the top. I know the 45 is on the bottom. As long as you're consistent, doesn't matter which way you, which way you do that. Now, uh, typically you're just going to run your finger down this and peel these leaves off, but this is a thorned blackberry. <laughs> you will wind up with pulp for fingers if you start doing that very much. So I'm just going to strip these off, or, or, or I'm going to cut these off with the uh, with the pruners and it'll be a little bit more time consuming than just stripping them off but uh, worth it. These are the Primacane. This is the new variety that produces two um, crops a year. Uh, a spring and a fall crop. Anyway, uh, I did uh, I wanted to do this update and I've got a little bit more to show you. Now if you're not going to propagate, if all you're doing is pruning your blackberries then after when they get about three feet tall then just take the tip off just the very tip. Now you can pinch it off. Uh, this one's only about two feet tall. I'm not going to do it. But you can pinch it off. You can just, just cut it off. That will encourage lateral growth. What happened here, as you can see, that's the end of it. I hit it inadvertently. Inadvertently. Iron head, that means by accident. <laughs> I hit it inadvertently by accident with my lawnmower. Cut the tip of it off and look what it's done. It has encouraged that shoot, that shoot, look at that. So, and even down here uh, uh, further. So, further down the stem. So that tipping it, cutting the tips off, just the very tip, even if you're not going to propagate it. I'm just talking about pruning your blackberries at about three feet. Some people say four feet. Uh, it, 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 the, high, the taller they get, the more likely they're going to fall over. These have fallen over a lot. Now, there's a reason for that. They're young. 
uh, it takes about three years for an erect blackberry plant. And these are they, you, they've got trailing, they've got erect, they've got semi-erect, very erect, uh, and these are these are erect. But it takes about three years for them to really start standing up on their own, really start standing up high. You can trellis them if you want to. I'm not uh, just a pain in the bohunkus. But uh, but you do want to tip them at about three feet. That will f that will encourage the lateral growth, and it will also probably encourage them to stand up a little straighter. Okay, so that's uh, that's part of this too. I, and uh, you can you can find better films and be better videos than mine about that. But uh, uh, some of these look like they're trailing the way they're falling down here. But that is uh, these are these are erect blackberries. They just uh, haven't uh, see there's another one whacked off the end with a lawnmower and look it's got one two three four five six seven seven or eight shoots off that dude golly and each each lateral branch look at that lateral branch there there the one there one there one there two there each lateral branch means more blackberries, so don't be afraid to prune your blackberries. Tip them if you're, if nothing else, you're not going to propagate. Just tip them at about three feet, four feet tall, uh, four feet long. If they're trailing, if they're then about four feet long, uh, and and it will encourage this lateral growth. It's just like a pear tree or a, pr or a peach tree or something like that. If you, the more you prune it, not the more you prune it, but if you prune it correctly, you're going to get more fruit. And if you thin them, you're going to get um, bigger fruit. So anyway, tip your blackberries, and if you haven't done it yet this year, uh, then uh, it's probably time. And uh, again, even if you're not going to propagate, you do want to take the ends off of them, take the tips off of them. Cut that tip off, and I'm, when I say the tip, I'm talking about just a very, very, just, just pinch it off right there. And then on these side, on these side laterals, when they get so long, if they get a foot long or 18 inches long, tip them. It will encourage lateral growth off the laterals, and it all means more blackberries for you. It all means more blackberries. So uh, do that, and I think I got a few more things for you. Okay, I mixed up my dip and grow, dip and grow. I believe I got it at Amazon. Uh, you put just. I mean, uh, an eighth of an inch in this little container filled up with water. Use follow directions. Uh, here's my cuttings. I'm still still got a tub full here. Let me show you what I'm. Uh, okay, let's say you are going. Uh, Iron Hand mentioned going and getting some uh, wild blackberries. Uh, when a blackberry produces this year, and it would have produced, mo uh, uh, I'm sure by now, uh, that cane will start to die that cane is done so the growth that you see the green growth that you see is going to be shoots that came up this year that will produce blackberries next year those are the ones you want to go going to want to go tip okay going to go take the tips off of so uh, so if one looks like it's uh, spent if you can see little places where it had some berries on it maybe that's not the one you want I don't know that that one would propagate would root I don't I'm not sure about it but uh, Get the ones that are green and growing and doing well and snip them off. Okay, here's a finished product. I've got some here that they were mixed in with the primacanes. I don't know what they are. It's a, it's a, a kind of, you know that sound, don't you? That sound, <laughs> that sound is the night before in a colonoscopy. <laughs> I know that sound well. Anyway, this is, there you go, that's the sound. <laughs> uh, they, uh, as you can see, I plumbed a little bit more since my first video. I put a T here, brought it out, and put another head here. T over there, brought it out, put another head right there. So, uh, <laughs> oh Lord, a colonoscopy's coming. <laughs> anyway, um, so I've got, uh, just 
got a bunch of stuff here, a bunch of blackberries. Hopefully I can sell these things. You know, if, if it fails, I will show you my failures. Uh, we'll see. I think the misting system is going to be uh, my, uh, my success on this and the fact that uh, <laughs> the fact that I uh, uh, made sure I knew which end was up. I've tried it in the past and I just stuck them in the ground. I'm sure I buried some heads. So This is it. We'll see how it goes. I'll uh, give you, keep you updated. Probably going to put a timer on it. Um, right now they're running, uh, I might turn them off at night, but they're running pretty much 24-7. Uh, it's best to put a timer on it. So I've got one on my blackberries, on my drip irrigation on my blackberries. I may bring it over here and do like on 30 minutes, off 30 minutes, on 30 off. Um, just do that constantly. We'll see how that goes. I believe this is going to do it this time. I believe this is actually the end of it. Probably way too long. Sorry about that. Whew, we gone.